Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caviar Cats. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful wig that I have installed. If you want to know all the details about this unit, continue watching. Today's hair sponsor is Premium Lace Wig. Today I have installed a 24 inch 13 by 4 deep curly wig. This is in 150% density. It is 100% virgin Brazilian hair. So for today's install, I'm doing a no ball cap method. I actually put some powder and some foundation on my natural hair as you guys just saw. It's a little bit brown towards the center. That was because I was wearing a blonde wig before this install. I had actually gone out on a little date night with my hubby and I was wearing a blonde wig. You know, I wanted to be a little spicy. So after that, I just took that wig off and now we're here installing this wig. So this is a transparent lace, obviously. You can see it's looking really light. I'm just curious why they even call it transparent. It's transparent for maybe one skin tone, which is light skin. It's definitely not transparent on any other skin tone, but that's neither here nor there, girl. I am spraying this Ebon spray to secure her down. I did cut the middle part of the lace off first, not for any particular reason. Sometimes I just like to switch it up and try something new, see if I like, you know, my standard method, which is normally I just cut that entire lace off straight away before I even spray anything. I like to use the ear tabs, kind of like the sideburns, to secure the wig to kind of keep it in place until that spray dries. But today we are not going to be styling the sideburns. We're just going to be leaving them alone because I'm not planning on showcasing them. So I just figure why work harder when you can work smarter, right? Like if I know I'm not going to be showing those hairs in the install, I don't need to do all that. You know, like I had just gotten back from a date night. Like I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I'm still going to do my job and do it well, but like I said, it's just some things are just not necessary sometimes because you guys, you guys have seen me do that a million times over. Anywho, moving on, we are cutting the baby hairs. We're going to do two swoops and the middle swoop. Haven't done the middle swoop in a long, long time. Figured, you know, maybe switch it up a little bit. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I am doing this, the side baby hairs a little thicker than usual. Sometimes I like to do a thin. Sometimes I like to do a thick. But that's pretty much the length I like. I don't really like them longer than that and as you can see here i just put some foundation and i'm just going over that lace that's looking a little light it's not as noticeable on the camera but in real life like i can tell like it needs to have like some some darker tones towards the front of the hairline next we're going to be defining the curls it's pretty straightforward i'm going to be using my favorite go-to products and just some water you don't need much you can definitely wear this wig like this but if you think about it this is 24 inch and it's definitely giving short like it's giving short i don't know how else to say it, it it's not looking 24 inch to me right now so you're gonna see when i put the water in it is gonna stretch that hair the curls are gonna fall and they're not gonna be as tight so the hair will seem longer i really liked how it looks right now but i wanted to just define it a little bit and you know when i did put that water in the product like it literally made the front portion too long so i had to kind of just wet it everywhere and uh, define the entire thing but it looks really cute like this i think it's giving very natural like people would believe that that's your hair if you wanted them to and if you bleach the knots on the unit too like come on but anyways guys enjoy the rest of this video i'm going to be finishing off the styling portion and then i'm going to give my final thoughts on the wig at the end so i'll catch you guys at the end of the video
simple I did a fresh out of the box install without bleaching my knots I usually you guys always bleach my knots I just want to show you guys the difference with the hairline when it's not bleached compared to like when I usually bleach it because I always do it that way and you know I just figured it'd be good to kind of switch it up and show you guys what it would look like without bleached knots just fresh out of the box install so that's what we did today I went for a middle part because this is a 13 by 4 you guys but I noticed that the lace on the side is very thin so I would say there's not much parting space on the side of the wig I would say it's about two inches on the side 13 by 4 so technically the 13 by 4 can be anything it can be two inches wide it can be whatever as long as it has a portion that's four it can be classified as that so the curl pattern on this unit is very beautiful length is definitely going to be stretched length 24 so you're getting your length when you stretch it which is crazy so can we just create wigs that are styled length 24 please thank you so as i was saying uh the length is is a little bit lackluster for me but the wig is still beautiful now there was a lot of shedding when i was styling this wig more so than i would usually experience with a curly wig you guys like curly wigs definitely shed but this one was shedding a bit more than i would have preferred so keep that in mind i think the 150 percent density is really good definitely don't feel like the wig is thin at all like it definitely feels like it has a lot of hair for that density we did do some baby hairs nothing crazy just a little dabble dabble now the lace was giving me transparent lace so i definitely needed to go in and hide some of that lace with some foundation that's pretty much all i think i have to say about this unit today if you have any questions for me leave it in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on today's install if you haven't subscribed to my channel already think about subscribing we do lots of giveaways i also sell a lot of my units so it's an easy way to figure out when i'm having a sale or when i've added new wigs to my shop if you follow me on instagram as well i definitely give you guys like heads up over there thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in another video real soon bye for now every time i'm with you